now you wanna talk. <laughs> Honestly, I think we're past the talking. Past it for real. Yeah. Just need you to listen. Put me in position where my heart's missing. Lost the feeling, find hatred and healing. Think we get there again? I don't think so. Love's in the rear view, plus the years spent with you. Wish I could undo all I did with you. Done for you, now I'm done with you. Used to be lovable, now it's personal. Can't stand your voice, what you mean can we talk? In my mind, see you laying down in some chalk. Tired of the curses, speaking in third person. Same thing we playing over like we rehearsing. Here's final curtain, finally changed my demeanor. No more back and forth. Peter's back. Time for y'all to face the facts. In a new era, and I don't mean fitted hats. I know y'all enjoyed that first episode y'all just watched. What do you think? It's the return of Don't Get Emotional. Don't Get Emotional. Nah, it's a, a game. We're gonna play off of people's conversations, comments. That's what we do. And the reason being is because, yes, it's our show, but it's the show of the people. So when the people have a question, the people wanna talk about something, it's gonna be addressed. Like, you remember that time when I was um in the gym and a lady asked me about how to um manage her family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what did I do? I asked Val the question and Val addressed it. That's what we do, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because again, it's gonna be, this is the first episode back you're gonna see Sandy sometimes, you're not gonna see Sandy sometimes. You might see me and Charles. You're gonna see people. I told you, I'm talking to people that's gonna um have businesses that wanna come in here, they wanna sit up there and talk. Val's gonna make a return back. We don't know who might be in this chair one weekend, but again, we have to address all factors because when it comes from, the whole point of don't get emotional is we like to help people get to the next step in their life. Some people might be stuck somewhere and they just say, oh, how do I get to the next step you know how you get to the next step you get around people and watch people that's in the steps that you want to take and they help you get to the next step like with me i want to be a millionaire but i'm not trying to be rich to be rich over people i want to be a millionaire because again i want my wife to be comfortable i want to be able to help my friends like i could sit up here and brag and i'm not bragging i gave away cars i paid people's rent people to go to school donated money to churches now I don't have to brag about it. The fact that I was in a position to do that was good enough for me. That's what I'm sitting up there saying when it's about, when you're on a microphone, when you're in front of a television, when you're on a screen, why are you there? What are you trying to project to the world? We could make you laugh hardy hard. <laughs> I can make you laugh anytime I want, but the thing about it, me, we're gonna have fun like Sandy said, yeah. but there's also gonna be times when we're gonna get serious and we're gonna discuss serious matters. So that last episode, which was the first one of 2023, Happy New Year to everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Leave your comments because we will we'll address your comments. And we might do a live show sooner or later. But the fact of the matter, we're just doing this because we was always a pre-recorded show. Because we're trying to get an understanding and a grasp on what people want to do with us and how we want to interact with the people. Yeah, yeah. Because here's the thing, real talk. Notice you don't never hear us say like, subscribe, and none of that. Comment. The thing, we'll say comment because we want to hear what you got to say, but y'all going to help us get where we go. Without the people, who are we talking to? No one. So, that last episode was basically about, because they were saying, we talk. all over the place. It's not all over the place. I want to challenge y'all. This is a challenge. I'm a challenge to everybody. Yes. The next time you have a conversation, I really, I really want you to lock in and think about it. That conversation is going to start talking about Barney and friends are gonna end up in the Flintstones. That's how conversations always go. Cause I do it a lot. I be sitting up there like, how did we get there? Because somebody would say one thing would that would throw the whole, the whole Thank you. That's yes. conversations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. We are, what is it? What do they call that? We are a proactive conversation. Proactive conversation. So what we talked about last one, it was just about um we had a a um, person that's in the um, room with us and was asking us about perception. And one of the things I, I'm big on perception. The problem with this society and this world is the miscommunication of perception. See, the thing about it is when you have somebody that grew up rich, they don't see from a poor perspective. They see from a rich perspective. Yeah, yeah. So when you sit up there driving a BMW or you taking a bus to school, it's a different ideology on how you're going to look at things. That's why I keep saying you got to put it in a proper perspective. Like, I remember. Now, nowadays, you know what I see parents doing? 
driving their kids to school. I wish my mom did that. Yeah, I drive my son to school. I'm talking about high school. Uh, I probably drive to school in high school too. I had to walk miles to get to school. It's a dangerous world out here. No, but but that's what I'm saying. This is the difference. Yeah. I used to walk miles to go to school. Where now I'm right. seeing, but and then some people in that same high school got their own cars, better cars than we have, yeah. better cars than we have right now. Oh. I'm watching girls that's coming out of high school driving Range Rovers and all these. No These problems. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, wow. Seacom. So that's why I'm sitting up there saying one of the things we gotta understand, people, is everybody have their perception on how they look at something and you can't blame another person because somebody else parents put them in a position to be better off than your parents put you in a position to be better off and that seems like what people was mad at it's like yo my mom didn't do or my father didn't do what they were supposed to do who fault is that <laughs> so that's why i say as your own individual like in my book volume three i said it was my mother's job to make me a boy it was my job to make me a man. My mom couldn't even tell you. She don't even know I have a podcast unless somebody told her. The only reason why she know I'm a published author is because somebody told her. Her best friend's like, she was editing my book. She didn't even edit the book. She was like, your son's a genius. Did you read this book? So this is what I'm sitting up there saying, like proper perspective. We got to understand. Conversations can go all over the place or they can stay the course depending on the people's emotion of the conversation but everybody everybody have a perception it's the miscommunication of perception that is causing the world to think the way they think okay let's look at the war right now what's going on um russia attack attacked ukraine for what reason well there's a couple different stories going on but the story that i know is because of the uh i guess there's some kind of servers over there and some paperwork that they need and they want they said that they're a part of them and they want them back. Well, yeah, back in the day before the wall was up, they was all together. But then when that wall came down, the USSR wall came down, they they, they went apart, but then they became their own uh, like country almost. But Russia still has some of it, but because their land is on top of a lot of rich soils, the oils, they have servers to billions of computers throughout the world in certain areas over there, they want the control of that, the land and the area. Now, you hear everything you just said? Yes. Let me ask you a question. Are you Putin? I am not Putin. So you don't know why he did it. I don't know You why. just speculated. You just came up yep. with your own concept I of what you did. think the media told you what they were going to do. Yeah, I probably learned it on TikTok. Uh, so. so again, that's my point. We yeah. don't know. And Biden's trying to pay his way out of it because he owes all these people some money and promises. See, we, and it's, then we, it's, it's all be all these speculations that we don't even know is true. First of all, if any, is any of us in the White House? No. 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 Are any of us privy to the information that they're giving us? No. So you don't know what reason they over there. No. no they over there because they're trying to take over. <laughs> Next. That's my <laughs> point. Well, here's the funny part. We see people fighting in our hoods. Do you know why they fighting? No. <laughs> over a girl, most likely. Do you know that for sure? <laughs> yeah. No. Could it be yeah. drugs? Could we be don't drugs. know. Could, could, it be, could be drugs, but could be over Could it be girl. somebody smacks my little brother? Yep. We don't know. See? Could be that too. That's my <laughs> point. You don't know the reason why somebody sees something. Let me say, I, I like to bring stories because, okay, I hang with a lot of white people, older white people, WP, excuse me, Sandy word. so you get credit for that. One time, an older, and I was younger, an older WP asked me, cause I think a lady locked her door or something. And he said, does that bother you? I said, no. He goes, why? I said, did I do something to her? No. But do I have to think that somebody that might look like me, the same complexion as me, did something to her? Yes. Yes. So is she really taking it on me, or is she taking it on something that she might experience that I don't even know she experienced? Oh, yeah, calm down. You're so hyper. Relax. No, I'm just saying what this is. It's like you gotta keep <laughs> don't that get in mind. Don't get emotional, I'm not, I'm, Dante. I'm not emotional. I'm just saying. I'm just trying You're to show emotional. you something. Trying to get emotional. Oh no, you relax. know what? You know when I get calm emotional. Calm down, okay? All right, let's relax. Okay. Somebody getting slapped. Yes. <laughs> but nah, that's the thing I'm saying people you have your speculations mm -hmm. your ideology of how you looking at something and may not even know why this is actually happening that's why one of the things I don't have is an opinion on someone else's life mm -hmm. I don't know what they're doing why they doing it yeah. so when we talk about single mothers that's what started that conversation see that's always gonna be a topic single mother versus men with no kids do you excuse me do you know why one 
you're judging me as a single I don't have a perception of you as a single mother. That's your doing. I don't have kids. See, you're taking something and you're internalizing it because you thinking I have something to say about that when I don't. I'm a single man. Are you gonna raise me up? You know what I mean? Women say, well, should we put you on a pedestal? I didn't say do that. You act hot. That's what I am. Mm-hmm. Do I say? That's what I'm saying when it comes to these type of conversations. Mm-hmm. You have to put it in a perspective of that what they it understand. is. Yeah. In a way that they can understand what it is. You can have the same you can have the same job as someone, right? Yep. Is everybody money the same? No. Why? Because they pay different departments and different types of money. One. It's also your spending habits. Two, what else could happen? People don't go to work. Three, see, you got all these different reasons why the money ain't the same. But what do most people at jobs try to do? Complain. Complain or they try to build up their benefit time so those days will be paid. So again, what's the answer? Depending on your negotiation with my patient. <laughs> depending on your negotiation yes. with the job. Yes. Your attendance with the job. Yep. Is money. how you're going to get paid, correct? Correct. So everything that you do in your life to answer the question of the last episode is based on what you do. If you want to better yourself, guess what you're gonna do? Get around people that are in a position that you want to be in. Mm -hmm. Like I said, why do I hang with Charles? Because he has a lot of knowledge. He's a business owner. Do I own a business? Not on the level with him. So guess what I could do? Nope, that's telling me it's time to go to work. Ha ha. See, I'm going to work after this. That's what we do, see? Not only do I do this, I work. I got books. I got all kinds of stuff. We'll talk about that later. Mm-hmm. Charles is... So, if I ever got into the realm of business like that, guess who I could go to and ask questions to avoid the pitfalls that he actually went through, yeah. correct? Yeah. Or he can put, set you up in the same way so that way you can learn your own mistakes because everyone learns their own ways. Bring that back to let the world He can do what? He can give you the tools that you need and let you have your own mistakes because you only learn life through your mistakes. That's the point. That's why I'm sitting up there saying when you have conversation with somebody, I like picking people's brains. I love sitting down with rich people. What did you do to get in the position that you're in? Mm -hmm. What kind of investments did you make? Because like, like I had a guy, rest his soul, he owned a cleaning business. You might know him, East Providence, Mm -hmm. Martin. But this dude, told me a lot, he gave me a lot of information. And he know, you know what he said to me while he liked talking to me? I don't wanna put his name out there. But he said, none of the stuff that I have excites you. You know why? Like when he had a Bentley, a Midnight Blue Bentley, this was the first time I ever seen a Bentley live. He was like, yo, you wanna drive it? I said, no. He said, why not? I said, why don't I wanna look like telling somebody I drove another man's car? <laughs> I would have drove it. You see, I, no. <laughs> Oh, guess what? I drove a Bentley. I drove, I drove some Maserati. man's I've, Bentley. I've, I've yeah, done. I've a couple of yeah. No, no. I'm only driving cars I can afford. Nah, I can afford a Bentley. I'm only driving cars I could afford. Why can't you drive it? Huh? Why can't you drive it? Nah. Why not? Just get in there and you're like, yo, yeah, this is it. Oh, shoot. Go around real quick. Yo, yo, that shit. Yeah, it is me. And it's gonna be me. That's hey, another look at it, too. Futuristic. Yeah, sometimes Ooh. sometimes being in a room with the, with the, with the, the millionaire and the billionaire is cool, but sometimes it's cool to be be in the hood too and be like, yo, you know what? I see what it is. I see what I'm supposed to be. Sometimes you can't get close to the person who have it. Sometimes you, you know, you gotta take those falls. You gotta now, take those falls by yourself. Watch this question again, Hold see? <laughs> but my, my son, my, my oldest is 13. I've been coaching him for, um, for football for five years, right? You know, he's slack a little bit. That's my favorite player. And I treat him like my favorite player. Like I watch football. I yell at him the same way I would. I got a TV. That's my favorite player. I'm gonna pick him before anybody. Any position. Yeah, running back, I don't, he, he my quarterback too. What's up? 
But again, he had to learn on his own. You know what I mean? That's everything. They was them falls. Oh, you ain't gonna work out? Okay, cool. When you go to high school next year, you gonna see how them big boys hit. I can't push him for that. You feel what I'm saying? He gotta see that on his own. Mm -hmm. Right? And that's gonna even make or break him. That's with any sport. So you know, you get those kids in football, you know what I'm saying, first year, they're like, bam, you get that first hit, and see, they're like, oh, shoot, I'm going to keep going, or I'm well, good. I'm done. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So now, football is his favorite sport. He's been playing it for, what, six years? He's 13. You feel what I'm saying? So, you go to high school, what if you don't like it? What's the next step? You feel what I'm saying? That's on him. What's it called? That's I heard, I heard you talk about, yo, what's your five-year goal for your children? I don't, I don't put no, I, I don't put no goals in front of my children, but... School, even though school is a it, oh, time a, out, time no, out. Hold on, no. I didn't say I didn't say children. Adults. I said the woman. Yeah, but you for the child. You still, I heard you say for the child. No, no. What's your five year plan what's for the, the child? No, no. What's your plan for you and your ch your family? Yeah, that's your child. No, but I have to under see what what we were talking about. Bentley, he went to the hood. Then he started talking about. See what I'm saying? How conversations do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now yeah. you got so many. Th so no, I, I'm just saying. No, I'm with you, but listen, wanted, listen to what I happened. Like to we went from Bentley talking about Bentley driving another person's Bentley, right. to you talking about I want to take a Bentley to the hood, right. to now you talk about kids. See how that's how that's what happens when you have multiple people and how they see this. Everybody just proved my point right now. I'm good at what I do. I'm gonna address everything you just said. One, driving somebody else's car that I don't have Thank could be. Not tacky, it can be motivational. But at the time, if I don't see myself, because at the time I had me a Lincoln Navigator that was a $70,000 truck. So again, if I couldn't see myself in a Bentley, it's not me wrong for me to say I didn't see myself in a Bentley yet. Because I wasn't there. I had to see where I see myself. Because again, sometimes when you're chasing at the goals that you can't really reach, guess what happened? It's you fall. Disappointed. You is that because again, I stay within my means. See, that was a man who not only just see, he had more than a Bentley. He had Lamborghinis, Range Rovers. He had multiple cars, yachts and stuff. I didn't see myself being in his position. I still don't see myself being in his position. Why? Because again, I'm working. This was a, a millionaire. He owned. I'm working. Even though I have things to own. So I'm not saying I can't be there. But I'm going to say for the time being, I'm going to stay in my shoes. Even if he gave me a pair of his shoes to wear, I didn't earn them. It was given. See, there's a difference when somebody earn them shoes instead of somebody giving you those shoes. You have a better appreciation for it. Charles can right now say, you know what, Dante, I'm going to leave you my house and everything. It was given to me, but I'm not going to appreciate it and value like he did because I don't know the struggles that he took, the blessed one and tears it took for him to get this. The house himself, yeah. I'm just receiving it. So sometimes a person can feel entitled and devalued of every things they have because again. My sister, she had a boyfriend. Right? I look up to the thing. Right? I said, my buddy. Yup. From the block, whatever. You know what I did? Taking his jeans, taking his shoes, taking his hat. I'm like, yo, I'll be like this, baby. From the block, you're getting money. You know what I'm saying? Right? I'm tacky, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I stole. I stole the joint. They found out. Right? What do you do? I ain't had that much money. What are you doing on, on Christmas? He gave me the clothes that I took that I took from him. Like, yo, here, bro, take that. Right? Yeah. But what it do for me? I wanna look like him. I wanna be like him, because I see that's how I see it. What I do? I go buy the same type of pants that he got. So what I'm saying is, it's because you got the um the car or whatever like that that you drove in. You know what I mean? You ain't be like, yo, I, like for me, uh, motivation. Um, yeah, motivation. For me, can um Camaro's my favorite car. Rented out a Camaro, what's it called, a couple years ago. I'm just like, yo, dog, this is it. I'm in front of the club, sitting in the back. Females is like, yo, what we doing after the night? We ain't doing nothing. I'm stunned for no reason. It's not even money. <laughs> Feel what I'm saying? Stunned. Yeah, yeah. Motivation to go get it. Okay, listen to you. Okay, now let's look into both of this conversation. And people going to address this because they hear this conversation. Mm -hmm. Every time you say something, person. guess what you keep saying? You keep bringing up the hood. So you know what they're going to take their mindset as? He likes the hood, or you trying to impress the hood. I notice you don't hear me say nothing about the hood, even though I came from, you know why? The hood's not thinking the way I'm thinking. They're not thinking like this. They're not leveling up. They comfortable where they are. I don't say they bad because that's where they want to be. That's where they choose to be. I don't choose to be in that way. Like, I'm getting, I don't get nothing to try to impress nobody. 
I do it for myself. If I say I'm going to get a bit, like, I was going to buy a Bentley. You know what my sister told me not to? She said, because you're going to be in certain areas that they ain't gonna understand that Bentley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm, and then you're gonna have a friend named Sandy. Like, well, I need to borrow your car for my birthday. And then imagine <laughs> where I'm at and somebody key that sucker. Oh, uh, no, it wasn't me. No, see, that's, that's, that's not a consequence. Okay, so this is what I'm saying about, con about conversations. So it gives somebody the right to key my car that I worked hard to get. No, nah, there ain't no consequence. Yeah. See, this, this, did, rock. huh? Rock. No. We talked about that, but again, it was foolish for him to be in the hood, a bunch around a bunch of wolves. Charles said that. Well, that's where you live. That's not where he lived. He's from the hood. He, he was didn't, not. He didn't, he didn't live in I, I LA. He didn't live there. But when you, when you, some people, when you in the hood, when you from the hood, you just love the hood. Nah, right. he didn't go there for the hood. He went there for Craig. Listen, listen. I don't live in the hood, right? Where you living? I live, I live in Marion, Connecticut, right now. Okay. Born, I was born in New Hampshire. Right? But I was raised in New Haven, Bridgeport, Connecticut. You know what I'm saying? But when I had my children, I, I was living in the woods. But I love the hood. I don't live in the hood, but I know what the hood is. You know what I'm saying? I work two jobs, 80 plus hours a week. You know what I'm saying? I go see my kids and, and we coach on, on the weekends and stuff like that. That's what I do. I still love the hood. I go visit whenever. I don't mean I want to stay there. I love the hood. I, that, that doesn't mean I want my kids to be in the hood. They don't live in the hood. They live in the woods. You know what I'm saying? Like. And, and, and all the time, I tell my children, yo, look at me for an example. You want to be like me? No, you don't want to be like me. You know what I'm saying? For my nine-year-old who, who, who's autistic, I'm a superhero, bro. Yeah. I stopped selling drugs. You know what I mean? I would never go to jail. Never. I'm, I'm trying to do the right thing at all times. Role model. I bring them to the hood. You know what I'm saying? We go to New York. We, you know what I'm saying? We go back to Bridgeport. I see my friends and stuff like that. They see the hood. You know what I'm saying? You don't see this too. See the struggle. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I go to different cities and go to different hoods, though, you, you're seeing parents with their children on the ground. No, you gotta see all of this. I let my kids see all of it. Yeah, I say the hood all the time, though. I, I love my hood. But I can't, I can't play that. My kids, like, well, here's, area. Let me, a, you know what I'm saying? House let me explain like something to you, right? But I'm a hood, I'm a hood guy forever. I appreciate that. But again, see, like Charles was saying, the people that I'm talking to, they're not hood people. See, when they hear you say that, they're going to be like, is that somebody he hangs around? Because they, they don't, they know, you go listen to any conversation, they, they, they never say, this guy don't never bring up the hood. Again, I came I for the hood. I, I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what I'm saying. See, we all, we all that's from why the hood. That's we why all from my the guess. hood. We, 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 how, how old are you, bro? No, I'm older than you. So that, no I disrespect, mean, no disrespect. No, 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 no. Okay. no, no but so but. me being, uh, he's 45, I'm 52, okay. right? So we look at it a little different. So we 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 look at like we've been there, and we've seen what it is right. from the from the when you get older. So we look at it with a whole different set of eyes, right. right? So like let's say if you say I love the hood, you may love the people. In that hood that you're I love from, my street. I, I love right? I love I but keep on my block. That's it. But like, you love your town, right? Yep. That's it. That's yeah, no doubt. You you love where you're from and how you how it make you feel, oh, right? You embraced it, yeah. But it's it's as a human being, you should not ever want to be stuck there. No, never. I, I know what it is. Right, right. So we we love it because the people and what it represent for us. What it did time. for us. What, yeah, how we, we, we got good memories, right, this and that. Memories and all of that. But it's so oppressive and so it's so messed up. Like you you that that kind of environment, you can't love it because it can't love you back, right? You love what the people that's there, and you love when you came up the the memories and this and that. Right, so so it's it's more of an idea of what it is. But right now, like if we walk, if we go to a random hood, right. it won't be smart. Like you know, what I'm saying it ain't right. good. Yeah. <laughs> so so we we can't say like that's, that's like love and poison. That's anywhere. That's anywhere. Yeah. Would you so think, would you think Milwaukee was crazy? Everywhere. Just this is Milwaukee. Yeah, yeah. You're like, yo, Milwaukee, really? No, they got yeah. the same thing. But you but you have this. What's the name over there? Eating people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah. anywhere. Dogs in the woods. Ooh. That's what I'm saying. 
No doubt. We watching the game in the background. That's why Charles said, "Oh, because oh, it was an interception." Real time. Doing a show, watching football, talking. You know what I'm saying? But the hood is everywhere. You know that. You know what I'm saying? But for me, it's just. No doubt, and nobody can tell you. Nobody can tell you different. But remember, see again, that's your perception. See, nobody, nobody's trying to change your perception. See, here's the thing. I'm gonna ask you a question. See, I'm a. I, this is what I do. I can reel this in. If we all was given a million dollars, see, based on your ideology and what you're talking, you're going back to the hood with it. No. Oh, and so you changed up. Why not? Just because I'm from the hood, I said I love the hood. I mean, they got a million dollars going back to the hood. I also still got, I got some kids. You know what I'm saying? My kids coming for everything. No, but see, again, the fact of the matter, see, we're talking about leveling up. You just brought up the hood at each time. If we trying to get out of the hood, which you just said you want to get out of, then why do you keep bringing it up? As a fact that we we know, we people know we love the hood. Like again, I see my old people that I grew up with. Yo, what's up? Pound, pound, we good. A ain't no love loss. I got scars from the hood. And I still, you know what I mean? It, it is what it is. But again, my thing is, it was what it was. It did what it was supposed to do for me at the time at it did. Time, yeah. Again, if I go to my job and write on my application, where you from? Hood. What do you think you're gonna do with the application? You don't write hood on the application. Huh? You don't write hood on the application. No, I said if you. This is what I'm saying. See, this is what I'm saying with the dialogue. You're talking right now. We don't know how this could go. How good is this area? Huh? How good is this area? This is partially hood. How good is this area? Partially hood. Partially hood, right? Yeah. yeah. What is it? What, what town is it? Uh, it's Providence. What's that? This is what? Uh, this is so, uh, Providence, whatever. So if you uh, go to another town, right, and you put in Providence, right, yep. to someone who's not from Providence, right, yep. and they have that reputation, Providence has that reputation, but like, oh, put off the rip. So it's just the hood. It's a town. It's a city. That, that's not true, and I'm yes. going to tell you why. So Brooklyn, New York, you say Brooklyn, Bronx, you say Harlem. Want me to prove? Want me to prove? Hold on. Oh, 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 want me to prove? It's going to be different. Oh, you're from the hood. You want me to prove that's not the truth? Have you ever looked at the paper the, on the theme when they showing the best places to um to um live in Providence? No, I'm not from Providence. Okay, when they do that, the um when they say places to visit, guess what they never bring up? Providence. No, they do. Uh -huh. They don't bring up hoods. Uh -huh. They bring up the good water fires. Water fires. They yeah, bring yeah. up all the good the restaurants. They never say, you know what's the great place to go visit when you come to Providence? No, Let's go to Chad Brown. <laughs> yeah. Good you know what's another great place to go visit? Let's go to Hoffman Projects. They, they act like those places don't exist. See, I just told you, it's the mentality. You can go look up right now. Top places of um, the, the, you just, because you just brought up Providence and you were familiar with the hood. That's a mentality. You know, do you know Connecticut at all? We've yeah. been out Connecticut there. Connecticut at all. Is there any town in Connecticut that you know? Hard. Bridgeport, Hoffman, Hood. New Haven. No, 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 no. no. I think, yeah, you're right. It's hood everywhere. It's hood everywhere. So if, you go, if, if, if I'm in Norwich, Connecticut, yeah, right? Oh, 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 they right. have hoods there. Facts. But if, if you're in Norwich and you talk to someone who over there who's a little bit older and you say Harford, yeah. hood. It's okay. West side of Hartford. Okay. Matter. But, listen, I'm saying, I'm, but Charles, hold up, hold up. Can we, we can use the example. Hood. When we went to Hartford, was we in the hood? We was at a theater. We was downtown. But, See, if, but if what, 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 what are we trying to talk about? In the area. I, it, it, what are we it's talking a about? Hood. I say I, I live in Bridgeport. I'm from Bridgeport. Right. Raised in Bridgeport. Right? right. If you go to people over here, right, right. or somewhere else who knows Bridgeport. Right. It's hood. I, I, I listen to Joe Budden podcast. They're like, yo, go to Connecticut. Don't go to Bridgeport. Don't go to New Haven without a gun. Yeah, yeah. No question. It don't matter, but we have nice areas. No doubt. It's the hood. Right. That's what I'm saying. But listen to what you just said. Okay, Joe Button. What is Joe Button ideology? He uh, wants the hood. That's who he's reaching to. No. But he want, but he the, 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 who is his who he used to be. Who is he catering to yeah. is hood mentality. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. See, your conversation based on see again. What did you just say? Okay, my, my brother owned the Camaro, and guess what? He never took it to the hood, and he's from the hood. You said you rented a Camaro, and that's where you went. That's about the club. Like, we, need to, we, need to, we need to figure out what we what we talk about. Cause we we debating on the, the hood exists. I don't know what we talk about. But like, no, he's, what we talking about? What he's saying is his demographic doesn't really listen. It's, it's for the hood, right? That's 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 what he said. I told they yeah, they rich right. people, so I think, but I think so. I think we established that, so I think we need to figure out next. Time. No, 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 no. Yeah. no <laughs> hold up, let's put. No, we're gonna use this. 
Okay, what's going on is this is Sandy's friend that's in the background that y'all don't get to see. Yes. So it's all it's all listen. Maybe. And Charles, but, no, they know they know you're here because they see you in there. This is Sandy's friend again. Like I said earlier, see every conversation that you brought up was what hood related, right? So again, when you if somebody was to try to judge you or make a perception of you, what they gonna say? He's is this good. person they, they not they don't see you? So they are gonna be like, why does dude keep good. bringing up the hood? That's what they gonna. That's the. I guarantee you. There's I put, nothing wrong with loving the hood. Ain't nothing wrong. No, no, no I'm saying as, as people we gotta love because that's where we came from. Yeah, yeah, so there's nothing wrong with that. No, but, what what I'm saying is we on a podcast recording right now that's gonna go out to a mass of people. No, no, it is. And then, now my audience is not hood. They're not hood at all. I told you these people own houses. They have businesses. But they, some of them are from the hood. No, they. They from the hood that graduated. I, I know that, but I'm sitting up there saying they know Dante ain't gonna speak about the hood. No, that's fine. He doesn't do that. Sandy may speak from the hood. See, as they hearing your voice, they don't know who they hearing. So I have to put that in a proper respect. That's why I said the the um. The miscommunication of perception. Nobody's taken away from the hood, and you want to elevate. You want to speak on it. Be my guest, but again, I just told you I'm trying to elevate people. Now, again, let me ask you a question. Hood have elevated people, but when the people went back to the hood, you try to elevate the hood. Have any hoods ever been elevated except when they was gentrified? No. The hoods get it. The hoods like I said, unless they getting gentrified, no hood will ever be leveled up. You know why? They don't want it that way. They don't. Bingo. They don't want the hood to get any do- better. They want it to stay the way it is because they want you in the hood. They want to keep you there. They want to see you struggle. Do you know? That's, it, what they do. that's do you, a fact. Do you know anything about rich people? Here's the thing: if rich people could keep people in slavery, they still stay rich. Yep. So as long as I'm higher than you. I could look down on you. That's a mentality. You know why they look down on us? Because they sit up there and say, "Go look at Robert Kraft. How how much money is he worth?" A lot. He's up there. Did Robert Kraft ever buy his buy himself a Bentley? Nope. Guess who bought him one? Could the people please tell me? Uh, Jay Z and Meek Mill Jay-Z, bought Meek Mill. a billionaire. Millionaires bought a billionaire a Bentley. So he's looking at it. That car ain't even worth my money. Will uh, Warren Buffett? Warren Buffett does not. Do, do you know what kind of car he drive? And he's the richest man on earth. Richest man on earth. Do you know what kind of car he drive? <laughs> the first yeah. Cali he ever bought, if he bought it. Honda. Uh, no, he drives the first Cali he ever uh, bought, okay. if he bought it, if it was given to him. Mm-hmm. See, their mentality. They he not. He drove that for years. Uh, they're not gonna go and buy. Um, Belisi Lag, Lag or whatever and all, all that designer stuff. They don't care about that. You know what they're going to be like? Well, We're going to give it to the hood because they're going to spin it. Mm-hmm. Bring it to them all. We can charge them like So while they sitting there watching you, oh, they want to have a nice Bentley parked in the hood. They want to have all these designer on. We're making money off of these fools. That If they really told you how they felt, matter of fact, didn't Timberland say they didn't want black people wearing yeah, their boots? Yeah, didn't yeah. Tommy Hilfiger say they didn't want people wearing their stuff? Yeah. Huh? Michael Jordan said it too. He didn't say he, wanted, he didn't want black people wearing it. He didn't like rap. So again, what I'm sitting up there saying to you. Oh, I didn't know that. I, I could take, we could take that that way. But I, my point in what I'm saying, when a business owner got enough to say, I didn't want a race. To wear my clothing. Ain't that what? It could have uh, been a marketing scheme. Ain't that too. what? Who was Jay? Who was Jay Rock? Ace of Spades. Didn't they say that? Or oh, before Ace of Spades? They, they, yeah. Some another. Um, who was it? He was. He was on. Uh, oh, Cristal. Yeah. Cristal did not want black people to drink. It. See. And Jay Z. That's when he dropped Cristal and went to Ace of Spades. Now here's my point in what I'm saying to you. Ain't nothing wrong with the hood. Ain't nobody taking away from the hood. But I'm telling you. See, you got the hood. You got the burbs. You got the level ups. These people, if they had it their way, guess what they would say? Wipe the hood out. That's their mentality. I don't feel that way. Go put them in chains. You don't feel that way. Uh, that's why they go through the, the RICO law. Who you think they, um, okay, let me ask you a question since we on this. Who you think did more um crimes? Young YSL or people in a higher power? So why didn't get RICO? 
damn, I'm good. <laughs> so, all right. So let me <laughs> let me ask that question. Well, they 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 get different kind of Rico, but it usually starts at the top, like Bernie Madoff. They gonna seek out the person. They only the got most. him. Well, they gonna seek out the person Bernie. that got the most. But he was the one doing the crime. So they got him and like they he, went out to his kids too. But they had nothing to do with it. But at the end of the day, I get I understand what you're saying. That they do a lot. It's a lot of white collar crime. Yes, that's what, and they're. But you, the reason that they don't get prosecuted because they got a lot of connections with each other. Correct. They look out for each other. Correct. And they they hand off a little bit. Look what Brett Favre just did. Yeah, yeah. He got See? the money with, fr pocket. from the freaking welfare. They took it from welfare, okay. from the black people, and gave and it to gave a it, school. Gave it to whoever. That's already nonprofit. They yeah. And it swept money. under the rug like nothing happened. Right. But let us have did that. Man, we went on about fart news. Like, <laughs> see that yeah. news all day. <laughs> Fox News. Everybody, like, yeah, day. CLB. Oh. Everybody, Rico. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I know. Even the dogs would have got Rico. Thomas, Thomas, that's what I thought. <laughs> Thomas, so I know, I know how you feel. I feel the same way. Uh, I, what I had to do. Whoa! <laughs> Charles watching They're the watching game. Football. Charles, <laughs> what I had to do, right? I had to quantify what my what I felt about the place I was from, because I'm from DC, is it is what it is. Right? That's a hood. Right? <laughs> to survive that, you gotta really be what you are, right? Exactly who you are. And what I had to understand was I could love that and what I'm from, but I can never aspire for that. Right? I, I can I love that I made it out of that. But I can never like for me to to give it any type of like I, oh, the, the hood is the, like it's not. It's trash. The hood is not good. Ain't nothing good about it. We we was we was raised bad. The parents were raised. They were they were they were done dirty. They did us dirty. Mad stuff that we they smoked in the car. with it's like just all kind of stuff that we we didn't know no better. And, and corporate we lived, America right? does not accept it. So for us to be like we can't we can't we can't idolize that we got to be better. Like and and, and, and like. The drugs, the guns, all that. Yeah, we live through that, but we can't, we can't have our kids thinking that that's cool, cause it ain't cool. Like the PNB Rock situation, for one thing, that could have been, that could have been probably the most single-mindedly, handedly, most ridiculous thing a, 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 a human ever did. To go into the worst, the gangsters don't eat. The, you, you gotta live right there to eat there. The 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 the, the gangsters from other things don't go there. That's the worst Waffle House in LA. Right, but but he wore a hundred thousand dollars in there. That's on you. Listen, the dude, the dude who robbed him was a young dude. With his dad. He was hungry. Right. Right. You just rob him and keep going. Right, but rob him and keep going. That's they don't work like that. Exactly. They don't always work like that. I understand. what happened was he went to give it up and he didn't. I'm hungry right now, dog. I gotta drive more no, I'm about to go eat, bro. But you know PNB Rock didn't, he wasn't having that. You know, his, his ego wasn't gonna let him do it. And he got, right. So everybody don't, so the, the hood laws, none of them are none of them are in stone. We know, just give it up. But some people are like, you're not, you gotta kill me for it. So it's consequences it's, that he- There's consequences of everything. You got that right. nice chain on, you got that nice car, you got that yeah. nice girl, you got this yeah. over here. You have to understand, people out here are hungry, dog. But no, right. People but, out here are hungry so for a reason. I'm gonna ask you, now here's the question I'm gonna ask. Again, you know, we're about to bring it in close, so again, because someone didn't put in the work that I put in, it's okay for them to take my life. Yeah, we gotta change that shit, bro. We That's my. This that. is my point of this conversation. I don't care where you from. You could be from the worst of the worst. Because I put in. I so let me get this straight. I came out of Brooklyn, New York. The worst of the worst. Got where I am, and because somebody else didn't put the work in that they could have put in with me, it's all right for them to take mine or take my life. That's what you're saying is okay. It's not, we gotta change that, bro. I'm not saying you saying that's okay, right. but you're saying the in a way. Hood saying that. Hood law says he can take it from him and he should give it to him. That's what it is. That, that, no, yeah. again, this is what you just said. Right. If I'm from there and I live there and I want to go back to show, yo, you can do the same thing. And somebody, you know what? You're nobody on this world. You're nobody, bro. Right. Guess so, what? You, you can't speak out of both. This is what I'm saying. You can't speak out of both sides of your mouth. It's either we're gonna be in the hood, elevated, or we getting out of the hood. Yeah, it's it's, it's right. yeah, it's just some it's just some. Leave, yeah, no, it's some people can't leave. I didn't. No, no, I'm talking to you. I'm. Not, remember what I said from the jump. No, no, I'm talking. No, you're talking about it. I'm talking to you. Okay. Wow. I'm saying, we either going to elevate it, 
or escape from it. Some people don't want. To. I didn't. Right. I didn't say. Pe- no, I'm, right. say I'm saying. Some people don't want to. Some people I, don't want change in their hood, man. No, no. I'm talking to you. <laughs> I'm not talking. No, listen to what I'm saying. I'm talking to you. Listen, I know the same dude on the block who's you know who's that shooter. You know what I'm saying? No. He's wild. I know the same dude that sells drugs over there. He's wild. No, no. Listen, they. I'm from the hood. No, no, hear what I I'm saying. No. I couldn't deal with a person be around someone who can't understand the hood. No, no, listen to what I'm you saying again. This is for me. No, I'm talking to you. I, I'm telling you. I can't talk about nobody else that I don't know. And I'm never gonna meet. I'm saying you. I'm getting Sandy working here. (laughs) I think y'all need to rob it, bro. No, are we going? Y'all going in circles? No, no, because again, no, because they're having good dialogue. No, because he brought up again. He it went, dude. I know where the conversation went. I was talking about my guy that owned a Britney that was rich. Right. He came and he said something, so we had to address it because he said something. So we're addressing it. So again, like I say, you. Can say I want to do that. I'm talking to you. I'm not talking to the guys you know. If they were sitting in front of me, guess what? I would ask them questions. It wouldn't be about you. I'd be asking questions concerning them. Because now I'm looking at their ideology. I'm not one of the things I don't do. I don't go to the hood and fish and say, "Yo, let's get out." Now, if somebody from the hood come and say, "Yo, I want out. How can I get out?" Now we got a conversation. That's the difference. If you go in there trying to free people. They got the right to do whatever they want to do to you because you were in there and you trying to get them out of what they want. But they come out of there and say, yo, I want help, I want out. Now you give them a way out. That's how it works. Sometimes you're too deep. No, I, yeah, he, he's no, no, he, <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's correct. But what I'm sitting up there saying is they're not, the guys that he's talking about is not in this room with us. Right. He is. He is. Yes. I'm right. sitting there. No, 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 but you're talking, but uh, listen to what I'm saying. The guys that you're talking about, we all been there. I'm not gonna talk about the people I grew up with. They're not relevant with me right now. The people I grew up with, you wanna know where they are? They're doing life. I don't even need to know to say what they do in life for. I grew up with them. I didn't do what they did, but I was around it. But again, this is my point. It's up to you what you wanna glorify. See. You sitting up there, this was your opportunity to talk about whatever you wanted to talk about. Well, guess what you talked about? You said the hood. Bravo. I said you hop in the Bentley, go to your hood, see if people see this stuff. That's all I said. I didn't say chill in the hood, keep the car on the side of the road. I, I wouldn't even say, take a Bentley in the hood. Listen, okay. <laughs> I got a friend that's from Queens, New York, right? And he was in the streets. Like he used to sell with Supreme in them. You can ask him yourself. He went back to visit with a Mercedes C. Now he grew up there. He's known there. He got rep and everything. You know what his peoples told him? Yo, son, get that out of here. A C. He said, there's these new dudes that come through here. They don't know you. And they coming through like a storm. He said, say no more, say less, and he's out. He was in the, I've been to that hood. I could shout it out and everything, but I'm not gonna do that. So again, you could go, like you said, consequences. So if I go to the hood with a Bentley and I'm sitting there on a the poster like this and somebody take my wig off, I deserve that because I wanted to show what I have done? A That's a consequence, like you said. So again, you know what my thing is? And Charles, we gonna end on this note? I'm trying to prevent, so I'm being proactive. I'm not gonna sit up there and think what can happen I'm going to avoid what can happen. Thank you so much for tuning in. Till next time. Don't get emotional. Don't get emotional. <laughs> Trav, you did your thing on this. Oh, now you want to talk. <laughs> Honestly, I think we're past the talking. Past it for real. Yeah. Just need you to listen. Put me in position where my heart's missing. Lost the feeling, find hatred and healing. Think we get there again? I don't think so. Love's in the rear view, plus the years spent with you. Wish I could undo all I did with you. Done for you, now I'm done with you. Used to be lovable, now it's personal. 
can't stand your voice, what you mean can we talk? In my mind, see you laying down in some chalk Tired of the curses, speaking in third person Same thing we playing over like we rehearsing Here's final curtain, finally changed my demeanor No more back and forth, Venus and Serena Stay within the lines, everything is fair play At the I say this would be on my way That's right Femininity for happy days. So can we talk? Talk, 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 talk? 